What about other programs? And let's pop into Avid. I'm filming this at the end of September in 2015, so I'm using Avid Media Composer 8.4. I'm using a Windows 10. Adobe 2015 is currently validated for Windows 10. Avid isn't. They will be soon, but obviously they just haven't done it yet. Now I'm just going to set myself up a UHD project, come into Avid. I'm then going to bring in those clips. So what I'm going to do is go to the bin, right click, say link to media, find those clips, which are just sitting on a regular hard drive, and I'm just going to link to them. So it's a bit like in Premiere, I'm not changing them, I'm not converting them, they're literally just brought into the bin. Avid isn't quite as good as Premiere at using native GH4 footage. This system is not the spec that Avid would recommend for editing 4K footage. You see, yes, it's actually managing it, but to be perfectly honest, if you're going to do a project with Avid with 4K footage, you're really going to want to convert this stuff, because if you get too much of this kind of footage into Avid, it's going to keel over. But for our purposes, very simple. Just link to it, bring it in here, it's all flat. Throw it into the edit, it's still flat. Now in Avid, you can do exactly the same kind of thing as you do in Premiere. You can apply a LUT. So what I'm going to do is go to the clip in the bin, right click, choose source settings. And here is where I'm going to apply a LUT. There are a few different things in here, but it's actually the color encoding setting that I'm going to go to. Now what I do is I select it from the list. This happens to be the one I want, VLOG to 709. And then I click add and job done, the LUT is applied. The only thing I missed out there is how do I get my own LUT into this list of different LUTs that we've got here for different types of cameras. You do it straight away from this window. So you open up the source settings, go to color management settings, and here you can see I've actually got my LUT listed there. Well, I got it into the list by saying select LUT file, finding where it is, clicking on open, and then it adds it in to the list of LUTs here, which adds it in to the list of LUTs down here. So again, very simple, color management, select the LUT, click, in it comes, then to apply it, go to the list, find your LUT, click add, LUT applied. Now you see Avid, as you've applied the LUT, it's getting a bit sticky here. So as I say, particularly for 4K footage, what I would prefer to do would be to transcode this into a different format. Obviously the most logical thing would be some format of Avid DNxHR and then edit that. But that's nothing to do with the LUT, that's just the best way to handle 4K footage inside of Avid. Of course you can just do it from scratch, let's take another clip, like this one, whack it on the timeline, go into the colour correction part of Avid, and I haven't got the symphony option, I've just got the standard one, but in this kind of case I'm looking at a very flat image here, I'd come in and I'd just click the auto contrast and actually sort it out very very quickly. Could do an auto balance, yeah, not so sure about that one, let's undo it or you can just fiddle with the settings yourself. That's obviously the alternative to doing the LUT. And of course there's no reason you can't come to this shot, which you put a LUT on, and still do the same kind of thing, still fiddle with the curves and everything else. So that's how I would do it inside of Avid.